From within the vault as Mic Manager, go into the project and right click on the 2D DWF markup and do a get and check out. This is going to retrieve it out to the local uh, machine and we're going to actually open this up within Autodesk Inventor. So within Autodesk Inventor, uh, open up Inventor, uh, log in as Dave Designer and what I want you to do is do an open and open that markup DWF directly and what's going to occur is when you open that up it's actually going to load in the DWF markup but it knows to also load in the drawing be it an inventor IDW or DWG that it was based off of. So when prompted um, except uh, to, uh, to check it out and what I want you to do is go to the markups browser and right click on the markup and you can see you can zoom directly right into it inside of the vault browser you'll see that um, it is checked out as uh, you as Dave Designer had checked it out and what I want you to do is go to that particular view right click and open it up this is going to open up that top level assembly so once inside of the top level assembly the challenge here has always been well what do we need to work on so this is where we're going to leverage data mapping or visual data management so click on map data and go and browse inside a vault for vault professional in CAD.RDLC and run the report. I have a number of reports and uh, different tables you can run. For instance, there's uh, the state, the checked out by, and with, with all of these you can go and run the mapping and then paint this mapping directly on by um, applying the mapping. So if you go to category, for instance, you'll see that there's a number of different categories inside of the uh, inside of this file link to item owner um, all of these are, are ways of seeing vault data uh, painted uh, graphically directly on uh, on the model but what we're after is that what's controlled by a change order in other words what do we need to work on so if you go to control by change order and select uh, all assemblies for instance or first level children. You can apply the color mapping and it's going to show you which of the files in this particular assembly are assigned and controlled under that change order that we had back inside a vault. So double clicking on a pie slice will allow you to quarantine it out and you can always add that to a selection set. So now what? You know, what, what do we do with this? Well we can see that from the vault browser this is going to highlight a number of uh, components. So Let's start the process of checking out specifically what we need to work with. So with all of those files and the top level, let's check it out. And that's essentially from the uh, top level overall assembly all the way down. Um, and we'll also need to check out one more, which is our uh, base sketch. So this is actually a, based off of a skeletal model. So we can right click and check out. So that's the entire set that we need. See, without data mapping, it would be hard to see, well, just exactly what do we need to work with. Notice that some files are locked, some files aren't. And it's in this way that we're able to uh, go in and work with um, all of these files.